Hey everybody, Dr. Kilcup here. Today I want to do a short video to help people that suffer with chronic sinusitis. Uh, sinusitis can come from allergens, it can come from infections. Those infections can be bacterial, they can be viral, and they can be fungal. So there's a lot of things that fall under this category, but this vitamin, if you don't have enough of it, is really connected to all of those causes. And let me tell you why. This vitamin uh, helps the lining of the sinuses to resist infection. So if you don't have enough of this vitamin, the gaps between the cells widens and it can allow a virus or a bacteria or a fungus or an allergen through to the deeper structures of the sinus cavity. And this can lead to infection, reinfection, and um, really ultimately just never getting over an infection. It's very important. Uh, if you don't have enough of this vitamin, it also can cause your cells that line the sinus cavity to not make cathsaidin. Uh, and cathsaidin is really important. It's this magic sauce that these cells make, and it can kill on contact uh, viruses, bacteria, uh, bacteria and funguses. Um, so when you have enough of this vitamin, the lining of the sinuses is tight, uh, things can't get through it, and they're coated with cassiodin, which, uh, again, is this super uh, magical stuff that can kill all of these pathogens that we come in contact to every day. Uh, if you don't have enough of this vitamin, your immune system isn't going to work right. The, the T cells, the B cells, the helper cells, uh, the killer cells, all of these uh, mast cells, all of these cells involved in the immune system rely on this vitamin as part of how they go about fighting infection. And uh, if you don't have enough of this vitamin, your immune system is going to be impacted negatively. So it's really important. Um, and no surprising, studies are coming out um, pretty consistently now uh, connecting a lack of this vitamin to people who, in fact, do have chronic sinusitis. Um, so continually, you know, they test a batch of people that are having chronic sinusitis and they find that all or almost all of these people have very low levels of this vitamin. Uh, so one more thing before I tell you what this vitamin is. Uh, all of these effects that I've just talked about that relate to the sinuses also are in play in the intestines. And which is why frequently people that suffer with chronic sinus problems are also having issues with intestinal problems. So the body is connected. Uh, this, the respiratory tract and the GI tract are really kind of extensions of the same pathway. If you think about it, they're all connected. And so when one isn't working right, it affects the other. And as a functional medicine doctor, this is a critical thing that I use in order to help people with these chronic problems that aren't getting better as I look at the big picture. But what is this vitamin? This vitamin is vitamin D. Vitamin D. And I will tell you, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. It is sunny here almost every day. And almost every single patient that I test is low or deficient in vitamin D unless they're supplementing with it. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but when you think about it, we uh, cover up and our skin is not exposed to the sun as much. So if you suffer with chronic sinusitis, get your vitamin D levels checked and get your levels up somewhere between 50 and 100 nanometers per milliliter. So I hope that helps. I look forward to answering any questions uh, and, and, and your comments. And again, I would love to help anyone out there with chronic sinus problems. Uh, if you've gone the traditional medical route, you know that none of these things are 
usually explore, it's usually take this medication and take that medication, and really trying to figure out the underlying cause is just never part of the equation. And that's what I love to do and um, love to help people by doing that. So have a great day. Thanks.